Uh, this is just a really fast video on the go. Today is September the 2nd, 2021, and uh, I am deeply, 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 in fact, disturbed in respect to the country where I was taught in the past uh, tortured in there for no less than 26 years, 20, 25 years. 26 years, actually, that's a Poland brought from the U.S. for torture in 1995, uh, tortured so severely, not only with electroshocks, but by improper carrying backpack procedures, let's say, deliberately, because the staff hated me so much, drugged up, assisted staff members, MK Ultra stamp members, uh, who oftentimes hated me and have given me loaded maybe 15 20 kilo backpacks uh, with straps attached uneven therefore on one side longer on the other side shorter and have me carry stuff like this like a whole day now you're not talking about three, four, five hours, but basically it amounted, it's a question whether it was that per electroshocks, because this is how they cleared memory from MK Ultra. Uh, it's a good question whether that was from electroshocks or was it from what I just stated right now, which had a tremendous impact on a spine. I would suffer severely from uh, carpal syndrome. You can see that on the internet what that is. In 2000 and... Oh, this was this was a total horror. This was 2000 and... Back in the US, I was like from 2000 and... Five, from 2005, yeah, from 2004, sorry, 2004, 2004, something 2005, all the way, from 2004, 2005, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way to year 2018, when I appeared in Poland. Well, wow. you're talking about like 12, 13 years now. Uh, I had a pain in my spine so severe that I thought that I am crippled. I thought that when I got a job, a temporary job, a part-time job in Minnetonka, in Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis area, in 2009 I was working at the register let me explain to you something I couldn't and I never worked physically in my life really I was doing other types of jobs uh, nor was that any kind of exercise that could cause me something like this I could not do the moves like this you understand because I would I would just like completely fell apart from the pain from the suffering. Regardless, the pain was so bad in 2005, in 2006, that when I returned back to Slovenia in 2006, at the end of 2006, it was still, I was still, my mother saw me, got me in a bed when I would fall asleep next to her. Uh, it would be like you would plug me into electric current, like 220. Uh, it was it was becoming worse and worse and worse and worse. Um, I would shake like this, tremble like this on a bed, like 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 something that I have not seen anything like this yet. Uh, in the U.S., I would suffer from more and more what appear to be seizures. Literally. And it's a shit that went on 
until I started to lock myself in a Karlstad for the first time that was in Sweden in 2010. Then all of a sudden, within like year two, all these syndromes uh, disappeared about shaking about the seizures. So it's just crazy shit that you would go and just st start to just... You could not, I couldn't grab myself and for something for the either wall or anything like this, I would just smash into the floor and just snap into the floor. Basically, become so disoriented, losing completely, totally overview about what, like a seizure, you understand seizure, that I would oftentimes smash with the head against the wall on a floor. Um, but yeah, since 2012 I would say once I started to lock myself, electroshocks, uh, that's what I think it was, it had to do with that. And I started to write down about that, talk about that stuff, it was gone, it was finished. Within two, three years then, none ever recorded anything like this, no shaking on the bed, nothing like this. Protected myself, locked myself, everything went back to normal. Uh, Poland, let me explain to you something, Kaczynski brothers uh, were deeply, deeply, deeply concerned, touched, uh, because of uh, Una Bomber, Kaczynski. This is this individual here, this dude here, which you all know. But this is the note to your, to American FBI. I will have... Um, how can I even... It's very difficult right now for me to hold anger back in respect to American FBI, for what American FBI did. It's... I have a very... I have a difficulty being American citizen and holding anger back right now as I talk about what American government have done to me. Through Clinton, through Bush, through Obama, through Donald Trump, now through Biden's administrations, of which most of these people serve two terms. They ruined me 27 years of life with a torture, literally. Uh, knowing that this is going to have to come out no matter what because of broadened case, because cases international, of international proportions, they started to load extra problems that I would use as a proof and stuff like this. I am so disgusted in respect to the FBI that I can barely find words. Now, this video, FBI, uh, I hope it's going to anger as many real Americans as is needed to get the job done inside of the FBI, inside of the justice system, justice department, department, because it's it's a completely rotten system. And my not turning into Oswald Harvey, as Joe Biden attempted in 1995 along Vladimir Putin, that's how long Vladimir Putin and Joe Biden know each other since 1995. Um, Joe Biden involved in this case for 27 years. Once disappeared for two years, I think it was like a year 97. Two years out of my sight in respect to MK Ultra because I, I had a, such a, what they refer to as allergic, you know, allergic reaction to him that as soon as I would acknowledge him, it was just what I stated. Um, this situation in particular, yeah, say I got him, he's already here. 
was already here. His name was a Ted Kaczynski. Is it this guy? And this individual here, it's, it's, it's called Unabomber. This is a lunatic. This is a lunatic. A total lunatic. You can go and read about maniac. Learn all about this maniac. Um, and to think about it, his name is Kaczynski. You see, his name is Kaczynski. This is a Pollock. He's from Chicago, Illinois. Maniac has the same name as Kaczynski brothers. And these are the Kaczynski brothers that I think are at least as evil or perhaps even worse. I, I don't know, man. This is, these are gangsters, these are thugs. And these are people that literally collected, incited in a racism so they could collect the money through the boxing matches. Donald Trump arranged. Um, once Mike Tyson got bailed out of jail through my case, literally just as I have explained here on this new side of mine. This is the news you want to read about Mike Tyson, how Mike Tyson got out of the jail in 95. Everything about my arrival to the U.S. and how Bill Clinton, through the Bill Clinton, they brought me to Europe and have used along the visitations, previous visitations to Mike Tyson, uh, MK Ultra case to extort the U.S. government to let him go, get out. But this was not the end of it. Okay. Mike Tyson was recruited by the U.S. government he was recruited by the U.S. government and, and tells right here um, mentions something I about broke my back what do you mean by that? Your back is broken no his back was never broken his back never was broken he was a freeloader this Mike Tyson just like Dwayne Johnson they wouldn't do the job I did in Poland so that you would really end up with a broken back and I did some extra uh, these people Mike Tyson did a little bit and it was oh 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 and they stopped with these boxes in this place in Poland they immediately stopped with it Dwayne Johnson did it in a such a way even much taller than myself uh, that he would go and he would do in parts this thing and they recorded him and so on like, over the years scam atop of the scam but I really got fucked and there was few others that got fucked too never mind because this is not the video what this is about this is just adding a weight to this issue here this is the issue that for me is very very important this these people here are very important to me. They are indifferent, you know, this, this, this Kaczynskis that collected the money, that incited in a racism even, to collect the money. It was arranged match between Golot and Tyson. Um, it's, it's, it's this guy, this Valenza. Valenza was the first one that collected the money through the corruption, and it's supposed to be it was a communist. <laughs> this is this communist is a is a big criminal Polish cat. See, they all are criminal. They all are criminals. You know, known about as solidarity. You know, it's, it's a gangster, really. Um, those that myself, I was incited into a solidarity. I ended up with a broken spine, and was kicked out of the Poland in the most disgusting possible way. This is why this video, this video because, not only because of Kaczynski, but because I was told under MK Ultra that we're going to work with the Polish, we're going to work with the Polish, and knowing Andrzej Duda, and this is talking about 
Andrzej Duda, Morawiecki. These are mentor. Uh, their mentor was Kaczynski. They were the Kaczynski brothers. This, this. These are the thugs. They they collected the money through the bets, uh, through the sport bets, and did stuff like that. Filthy stuff. Involved with the gangsters, literally with the Polish gangsters. It's amazing to know that the MK Ultra case almost started with like a lot, a lot of Polish gangsters around me. Like unbelievable. They involved not only Pope from Vatican, John Paul, but they involved gangsters. So as I say, for funny thing, on one side you have a Polish Pope, on another side you have literally a Polish gangsters involved in my case, man. Uh, I had every every reason one can possibly have to develop er allergy against this shithole known as Poland. Richard Kuklinski's relatives were involved in MK Ultra along American FBI. That's why American FBI, Federal Bureau Investigation Agency, uh, along MK Ultra case, not only Tyson was bailed out of the jail system, but it was people that at least attempted to bail out, like this guy here, Richard Kuklinski, 100%. This Balkan serial assassin, a mass murderer, was bailed out. The Russians bailed him out, literally through this case, going right through this case. Karadzic should have been arrested a long time ago in Italy and Austria when he was with me. But that's exactly why he was not. He was let go. And so on and so forth. A lot of stuff in respect to jail. I eventually have an audio recording from a Pollock who went to the US and became a drug dealer and got arrested and I was paying him a visitation to his jail and eventually through this case he was let go, he was liberated, he was let go and returned back to Poland in Lodz where he met me. You understand? So I am not making this shit up. I was involved with the criminals in this MK Ultra case were so many criminals that were involved in it that you have no idea. Anywhere from worst Balkan criminals to Russian criminals to everything you possibly can imagine. What I have a real difficulty with, Andrei Duda knew about what anger he's gonna wake in me by performing a spine-breaking procedure and did anticipate along other governments once I'm gonna to start to write negative news about Poland how they gonna be instead writing positive news about Poland so that Poland would not look like a total shithole one of the things Andrzej Duda knew as Slovenians that observe this Right here in Slovenia already told me that if it's going to be stuff like this, it's going to be Polish embassy that's going to be located on a Richard Kuklinskiga, that we're going to rename the street into the Richard Kuklinski. That's a serial murderer who did not, this is why this video, commit five murders. You know, his daughter was involved in this stuff. I know private details about this stuff. This guy, this dude, this Polak murdered over 250 people. This was a killing machine. This was a killing spree machine. But because of Donald Trump's involvement, because of Joe Biden's involvement, he watched this shit for like 27 years, he's involved in it. They came up with the idea that Pollocks could eventually, to make their state look good, you know, to make their state look good. This is why warning to the Federal Bureau of Investigations, I am gonna have this shit investigated. I'm gonna get you. Whoever allowed that kind of stuff to who, whomever, whatever state official, nobody is about the law that much. To write the clearance on a Polish criminals, basically by deleting from the internet, the reality, basically, the truth about their 
commitment to crime, basically about their atrocities they committed against people. And so what you see here from Richard Kuklinski now, from 250, you can see on the internet it appeared five murders. And I was told, don't ever say about that stuff because we're going to work with them and this and the who. Who the fuck is going to work with them? Who's going to work with them? I am not going to work with the Pollocks. I'm not going to work with the Pollocks. I have nothing to do. I have no reason to work with the Pollocks. I was in Poland. They break my spine. I went to the hospital. They laughed at me, basically. They, they submitted me x-ray from the spine that was taken along the years when spine was damaged. But spine was not that far damaged. And I have substituted that for the real x-ray and so on. I'm not going to work with the people like this. These people have no fucking conscience. This case didn't come out because of the pollen. This case came out because of royals in London, because of the people that are royals, because of the international audience, because of the international people that they could not bypass either way as the truth somehow would come out and will look really, really filthy. That's why this case came out. This case came out because the Poland got paid hefty for the crime against me. So I'm not going to do this kind of stuff. I'm going to fucking do that. Poland falsified. Poland forged history time and again, time and again. And now, Polacks are trying to forge even a criminal records of the Polish criminals inside of the United States of America. Of which citizen, by the way, unfortunately I am for you, Poland. You fucking told me inside of the stores how poor I'm going to be. Me, American citizen, fucking nobody. Through whom you have managed to secure all the loans, all the investments, all the technology that purred in your country since my MKUltra case. You did literally hijacked me to Poland numerous times so you could get investors in there. The same like Serbia did. And you fucking told me inside of your stores, like in, in Biedronka and so on, how I'm going to be so poor that I'm actually going to be collecting old empty cartons, boxes and stuff like this. So I'm going to leave out an old car and stuff like that on the streets of Poland begging for sanity, shit like this. No, I'm not going to work with the Poland. You can work over my dead body with the Poland but you're gonna have to delete me first for you to forge the history in respect to Polish serial killers per your convenience other than that you're gonna return that back this assassin murdered more than 250 people and you're gonna be watched people have to watch you closely the fucking Federal Bureau investigation must be watched closely because they forge records of the criminals and they forge records of a normal people like myself. They murder people through the lies, through the torture. And that's just not okay. I'm not your Oswald Harvey number two, as Joe Biden anticipated I'm going to become for the sake of Vladimir Putin and for the crown over there in London that got inside of Hollywood and world of sports and so on through this very case. It doesn't work like this. It doesn't work like this. This video was recorded on... Here's the daytime. You see this here? This is the daytime. City is Nova Mesta, and yeah, I am still American citizen. I know you don't like it. I know it's painful, but I'm not going to give it away, ever.